Here we have a Maytag Centennial commercial technology model washing machine and this was purchased at retail about a year and two months ago. There's problems with this machine as you'll see. We're going to demonstrate how it's loaded uh, with the load of clothes right there according to the instructions of how to do it and then we're going to listen to all the noise it makes like it's grinding up a load full of nuts and bolts. So here we go. <coughs> Detergent goes in first according to the instructions. Fabric softener goes in the middle. I'm replacing the agitator for that. And we're going to add a little bit of fabric deodorizer. And then the clothes are going to go in in a balanced fashion. This is going to be a large load, so the controls will be set accordingly. The appropriate amount of detergent has been put in. The water level set at super plus, temperature on hot, and we're going to select heavy duty and heavy load. Fabric softener set to yes, and so we'll push the start button. Now the machine makes a few noises initially, and the instruction book says that this is to assess and balance the load, and computerized control decides what the appropriate machinations will be within the machine and that according to the instructions is normal. You see this light says sensing and it gives it a spin or two and then it starts eventually. Our concern here is not these initial testing that the machine runs through its programming. That's not the issue. And we'll hear in, hear in a little while what the issue is. Now it's adding water. Now this machine was installed by the technicians from the retail store who delivered it. It hasn't been moved at all from its place that they put it since it was put in roughly about 14 months ago. It was bought brand new at a retail 
home furnishings outlet here in Boise, Idaho. And we may or may not list that retail location with this video. <coughs> we have contacted the Maytag Authorized Service Center here in Boise about this. The machine is covered by the manufacturer's warranty, uh, if you can call it a warranty. You can read the text below the video to find out what the details were of that. But in effect, the warranty is worthless. This is an American brand with some history. And heavily advertised in the past. We've all heard of the lonely Maytag repairman. And we kind of think he might be lonely because he doesn't get any business because the warranty is worthless. And in my opinion, the machine is worthless as well. We regret having purchased it. It's a piece of crap. And as soon as we can afford to replace it, we will. You can be sure that it will not be replaced with another Maytag brand of anything. Since it's a full load and we have selected hot water temperatures, it's going to take a little while to fill and start. I'm tempted to pause this tape so that we don't run out before it actually starts the washing cycle. So I think I'll do that and we'll have just a brief pause here until it actually starts agitating. So the washing cycle should be ready to start pretty soon. And uh, we'll just let this run and you can listen to all the noise. Well, we're still filling up with water, rather boring to sit and watch and listen to. Here we go. It just stopped filling, so now we'll start with the racket.
American brand washing machine. Sounds like it's grinding up a load of gravel. We're going to let it go ahead and continue through the spin and rinse cycles because the noise doesn't stop. Hope this video isn't too boring for those of you who watch it. And I hope it's instructional about Maytag quality, quote unquote, and value, quote unquote, because it doesn't have either one of those qualities. Okay, the washing cycle just stopped, so it must be getting ready to empty and maybe rinse. We'll let it uh, give you a little taste of what that sounds like here in just a minute, whenever the computer tells it it's time to start. Alrighty then, it just quit pumping out the wash water, sounded like. It's silent right now. Now it's probably going to fill up with rinse water if it starts to do that and not agitate. We'll wait till it's full, just so we don't take up a lot of time listening to water flow.
And we'll cut it off here until it's done filling up for the rinse cycle, just to save time. Oh, well, it's making noises. What's it going to do? Interesting take on the Maytag Centennial commercial technology. I guess in the commercial laundry business they can afford to replace their $500 washing machines once a year. Here in our house we can't afford to do that. Let's give it a minute here and see what it's going to do. I don't want to waste a lot of time looking at a machine that's sitting there quiet. Okay, it just started making noise again, so we turn it back on and see what it does. Spinning down the wash load, you can hear now the noise it makes just coming to a stop. Isn't that interesting? One year old washing machine from a major American brand. It should last 10, 15, even 20 years. The one it replaced lasted 22. 14 months and we get this kind of crap and it's been going on for about four months. Started interestingly enough right after the one year warranty wore out or expired. Okay, enough of that. It's going to start filling with water here in a minute and then we'll listen to the rinse cycle for a couple minutes. The rinse light just went on. It sounds like it's filling with water. Not sure how long that'll take. Uh, it took it uh, about 10 minutes to fill with water just before the wash cycle. So I'm going to wait till it starts actually agitating the rinse water and then we'll listen to that. Back in a minute. Sounds like it just finished filling with rinse water, so we'll see what happens when it starts actually agitating the.
talking about five feet away from that machine right now. And the noise is so loud I can barely stand it. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? I think I've lost at least 10% uh, of my hearing over that. I'd say the level is 100 decibels, maybe 110 when all that noise is going on. It's deafening. Anyway, um, I'm not buying any more Maytag products, and uh, any of you that were thinking about that and watched this video, I hope that you won't either, because they're pieces of crap, at least the washing machine and at least this model can't speak for the other things that they make, but for this one it's junk. It belongs on the junk pile and it may go there since the warranty that comes with it is even a bigger piece of junk than the washing machine is. That's all folks! <laughs>